Welcome back everyone. We do infusion workout today, 300 reps challenge plus Pilates. So grab your water and let's crush this one together. All right, team, so let's begin with a good quality warm up first, just a few minutes. And while we're doing this, I will give you a little bit heads up. What is this challenge about? We will do three warm up exercises, and your first warm up exercise is kneeling. So join me when you're ready and add a little bit rotation so we can wake up the center, the torso, the abs, the chest, and the shoulders, guys. We need a good quality warm up first, always to jumpstart the body so we can have safe and effective workout. So what is this challenge about? We have 300 reps. I prepared for you 10 exercises today and each and every exercise we're gonna be doing 30 reps. Some of them one-sided, some of them two-sided, depends what exercise is that. After we finish our 300 reps, guys, we're gonna get down to the floor for our Pilates portion of the day. Keep on warming up. We have just a few more of the knee lifts. You've got this. And we have eight, seven, six, five. Strong arms, guys, four, three. Your next warm up exercise is your air squats or your drop squats. If you're a beginner, you don't have to do your plyometrics. Here we go. So join me when you're ready, all the way. Perfect. We have just few of those, so we can bring the heart rate up, so we can burn more calories. And again, to wake up the body, to warm it up, so we don't have any possible injuries to happen to us. All right, give me just a few more. Four, three, two, and one. And your final warm-up exercise today, guys, is your walk to plank. Get ready, here we go, no hops. Just walking back. This is very good, low impact. Warm up exercises, waking up your arms, your legs, and definitely your core. If you are a very beginner, you can do it on your knees. Once you are in a plank, put your knees. All right, team, so a few more reps. It's always a little bit challenging, as I said, to begin exercise, to commit to the workout, but once the workout is done, it always feels amazing. Just remember, little success, little achievements, build our self-esteem, right? And that leads to the bigger victories, to the bigger transformation, to the bigger achievements, to the better, more successful, more amazing life, guys. All right, one more. Excellent work, team. So grab your water, stay hydrated, your warm-up is complete. Today we're doing dumbbell exercises and I'm gonna be using eight pounds dumbbells. You can use lighter or heavier dumbbells as you choose, but choose a dumbbells you think you can support for 30 reps, at least your upper body and your lower body. And we will alternate our blocks, our rounds, let's say, 30 reps with the weights, 30 reps without weights, and so on until we get down to our Pilates part of the workout. So your first exercise today is a goblet squat with overhead press, leg extension. Take a look. You're gonna go to your goblet squat, overhead back. So toes slightly out, guys, for 45 degrees. And get ready on the position. In a three, two, 30 reps, it's a lot, but we will do it together. Here we go. One. Extended leg, guys, to the 45 degrees. I count, and if you're following me, you're gonna be just fine on time. That's perfect. Excellent. I will tell you every 10 when we're through. All right, team. 10 reps complete, lower. Push it up. Give me strong overhead press and good quality engaged leg extension. That's it. It's getting harder on those arms. Perfect. Don't quit. That's it. All right, guys. 20 reps through, only 10 reps left. One, two, focus on the quality. Three, 
four. Stronger, guys. Squat lower. Push it. All right, let's finish strong. Last four. Three. Two. One more. I'm so proud of you, team. So put your dumbbells away and stay hydrated. Your next exercise is without the weights. It's not a cardio, it's just a body weight exercise. You can go a little bit slower pace if you choose to. So drink your water. All right, guys. Next exercise is your bear to your plank. Then one side, knee to the elbow or the shoulder in your plank. So bear, plank, knee. This is your one rep. If it happens to be that you can't complete 30 reps, put your knees on the floor while you're doing your bear and that's gonna give you a big advantage to complete. All right, on the position. We do it together, guys. Here we go. Back to the bear. Other side. Bear. I count, I promise, guys. All right, good job. I will tell you guys every 10 when we are through. That's it. Awesome. Back to your plank. Excellent, we have two more and we're gonna be first 10 through, guys. Remember, you can always put your knees on the floor in your bear hover. All right, we are on a second 10. Don't forget to step back to your plank before you do your knee. Drive that knee, guys, through the center, through the obliques. It's getting hot on those shoulders. Same shoulder blades apart, collarbones wide, scapula wide. Come on. All right, good job. We almost through the second 10, guys. Excellent. Last 10, guys, don't quit. Let's go. One, two, three. We've got this, four. We have only six reps left, guys. It's a very challenging core, shoulders, and arm exercise. Beautiful. Guys, we have only two left after this one. Last two, guys. All right, let's do it. Come on, final one. Beautiful, come on down. That was extremely challenging for me on my shoulders. Much more challenging than for the legs or abs. So I want to hear in the comments below, guys, what was the challenging part for you in this exercise? Because I thought my quads gonna get on fire, but I actually, all I was thinking is my shoulders. All right, let's drink some water. We're gonna go back to 30 reps with the dumbbells. Your next exercise. We'll target your legs and arms simultaneously. If you would need to pick up a lighter weight for this exercise, you definitely can do. So this is your side squat. One arm extended, double pull, and arms front, and then we switch the position. So you're gonna do one, two, two pulls on the legs, to the front, back, then the other side. So 15 on each side, 30 reps total. Get ready on the position. Sad guys, let's do it right. Double pull on the legs, one, two, hold it as your dumbbell. High guys, back, double pull, one, two. Try to squat guys into the glutes, away from the toes. I count. Good job. Let's go. Perfect. Let's do it. We're almost there. Almost first 10 through. That's it. 
arms front. Don't forget to give it a front lift. Lateral is a front. 10 reps complete, guys. Let's go. We have twice what we just did. Left. Don't hurry up. I want to see a good form. I know those arms getting tired. Trust me, mine getting tired too. Hold it. That's it. Come on. One, two. Good quality pull on those legs. In the side spot. We got this. Come on back. Mm -hmm. That's it. We almost through, guys. This second 10. Almost. Three more reps. My arm's getting really tired, especially after a previous exercise. All right, guys, two. And we're gonna be two turns through. And the last 10 will be just a not even important. All right, come on. You've got this. Arms front. Good job. Challenging. Do not quit, guys. No one is quitting. Double pull. That's it, non event. You can, of course, skip the arms on a lateral if you want. Try not to skip it. Double. We have last four. After this one, lift. Ready? Four. That's good. Don't drop the chest, guys. Keep the posture. I know, I know. Two reps left. Ready? We finish it together, guys. Last one. This is so, super strong. Say yes, I can. All right. Beautiful work. That was a challenging exercise by itself, but doing it for the 30 reps was even more challenging. Your next exercise is going to be without the weights, guys. It's a body weight exercise. And we're ready to go to on our belly team. It's your aeroplane to skydiver combination. I think this exercise is extremely challenging when it's done right. And it's also very amazingly effective for the back and shoulders and arms as long as you're doing it right. So it's gonna be lift, knees up, arms back on the floor. Try to lift your legs as high as you can using the glutes and lower back, and then draw the shoulder blades really together. Don't drop the hands and bring the ankles right above your knees. All right, guys, we do it together, 30 reps. Here we go, one. Two, three, back. I will count the reps for us. Let's do it together. We don't have to hurry up. At the end of the day, if you have to stop after 10, pause the video, take a 30 second break. You always can do it. Try to stick with me, I promise you, you can lift. You're gonna feel it a lot in your lower back, in your glutes, if you're lifting those legs, in the shoulders, of course. First 10, guys, complete. Get ready, let's go, one. We're not gonna stop. Two. Stay with me. That is perfect. I know your back is on fire. My back is on fire as well. We're halfway through a second 10. Time is flying really quick. Lift, back. We have two more reps, guys. And this 10 is gonna be complete. Don't forget a good quality reach. All the way, draw back. All right, don't stop. Last 10, here we go. That's it. Only eight reps to go, we got this. Lift, back, control, up, squeeze it, back. Don't forget your knees on the floor. 
lift and don't slam guys your knees back right i want you to lift and release them with control one two three again guys up two three we have only three reps left lift back the best one the best one the last one is the best one last one everybody come on up back two lift excellent reach all the way up beautiful boy guys nobody giving up come on back let's round the spine relax the neck the back is on fire which is really good even without the weight we got that back on fire all right guys so next exercise is going to be with the dumbbells this is your frogger to plank with the dumbbells and then on the way up from the frogger to the standing position we're going to be doing a bicep curl so drink your water get ready find yourself at the front of your map guys for this one so you can go then back to the plank you don't have to hop to the plank you can step i will start with a hop and then i will see how it goes i might change it for the step back instead of the hop you can do step or hop in between front or back or both so make sure that your legs are in a pretty wide position for that frogger dumbbells right up here like it's, it's going to be after your bicep curl here we go frogger low Good, this is your one rep, let's go. You won't have to hop. I count guys, we all doing the job. Let's go. Focus on a good form. When you do your frogger, fill in your legs fully. You have to have guys, your dumbbells with the non-rolling edges, that's really important. If you do your hops especially. But even if you do your step backs, Come on up. I'm so proud of you, team. Come on. This is a great full body challenge, which will help us to stay healthy and strong. Hit some cardio, hit some core, hit some abs, arms and legs, total body workout. One more, we're gonna be first 10 through. All right, my friends, here we go. I count. Let's go. All right, three. You don't have to hop, right? You can step back, it's gonna be a little bit slower, but that is totally fine. Commitment, guys. Don't count the seconds, just do your job. Be the best version of yourself. Come on, we all know this expression and we read something inspiring follow it for first five minutes and then forget about it that's not how it works inside out we have to leave the health leave the strings leave daily commitments little achievements do not quit guys remember once you complete something fully this is a extra little sand for your pile of transformation last one here all right we have only guys 10 left here we go don't quit one we might do one or two more maybe just in case but i would rather us to do 31 or 32 than to do few less right because strong people we always do more than required <sighs> remember our conversation about excellence right in order to have outstanding result we have to get to the outstanding job <sighs> poor job no results guys good job poor results i need you to do excellent the outstanding job standing above everyone else come on all right 
Inspiration is within. Let's go, guys. We have a couple reps left. And last one, Tim. That is perfect. Beautiful work. That was amazingly strong, Tim. Put your dumbbells away, drink your water, and congratulations. We just have complete round number five. So five exercises through. We have 10 exercises total for this challenge. Your next exercise is your body weight exercise. So let's sip the water. Your next exercise is pretty challenging. So if you want to opt out of the push-up and just do your plank dolphin instead, the full push-up and dolphin, you can do that as well. I encourage you guys to start with me and then finish a little bit lighter. You can always do the plank, dolphin, plank regular, dolphin plank without going for the push-up. All right, wide position. We're gonna do the wide push-ups and do those push-ups guys on your knees. That's totally fine as well. Here we go. Dolphin. Back up. You've got this. Dolphin can be on your knees too. That's it. We got this. All right. Dolphin. Stay with me. Do your push-ups, guys, on your knees. Come on up. We're almost through. First 10. I can feel that I'm probably gonna be finishing up those push-ups on my knees as well. Come on down. We're here, we're here. We're still working, guys. Come on. That's it, push-up. Challenging, come on. We've got this. All right, guys, 10 reps through. Put your knees on the floor. Do your push-up. Dolphin, like this. Come on, back up. This is your modification when you're ready for this. I'm gonna still fight. Let's go. Fight with me. Touch one knee. Right? Let's go. Come on up. Let's go, Dolphin. You can do the push-up on your feet, Dolphin on your knees, or vice versa. Push-up on your knees, Dolphin on your feet. Like this. Did you notice I got myself a break, right? Covering it with modifications, but got myself a little kneeling push-up. All right, guys. Come on. Finish through. One more rep, and it's gonna be 20. Let's go. All right. We have last 10 reps. We're gonna do it together. Let's go. Fight through, guys. Three. Four, stick, stick with me. Come on up. We got this. Only five to go, guys. Everybody, muscle up. Let's do it. Three left. Come on, Sim. Just right in between. Two left. I got you guys. One more, don't quit. Ready, set. That was absolutely brutal. Thank you for not giving it up. Thank you for encouragement. We did it together. You know, I am on camera in front of all of you. 
I can quit as easily as you can. Thank you so much for that. Let's drink the water and the next exercise is gonna be with your dumbbells, guys. Exercise number seven already. All right, your next exercise. Target your core, arms, and your abs. It's gonna be your sit up with overhead press. Choose to have a lighter weight if you have to. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do not just a regular overhead press, but we're gonna do the front one when the palms rotate it towards your face. So again, choose the lighter weights. Your knee is gonna be bent for your sit up. Dumbbells all the way up front. Elbows on the floor for starting position. Make sure that you rest, start the movement from the center. We do it together. Ready guys? Let's go. Sweat is rolling, calories burning. That's it. This is a good one, I love it so far. It's only rep number three. I doubt I'm gonna like it as much on a rep number 30, but I can't seem, come on. Let's go. Breeze, working out is fun. Push it. Let's push our own limits as always. Don't hurry up. Even if you have a lighter weight than I have. Push it. We've got this. We almost first stand through. Reach. Well together, guys. That's good. All right. We have only 20 left, believe it or not. You can always move to the single arm over hat if you have to. We're not going to quit. All right, I can tell being almost halfway through, guys. Couple reps, and we're gonna be halfway through. So what I was going to say, I can tell that I like it a little bit less than at the very beginning. Here we go. Push it. Try guys to point your elbows straight forward and palms straight towards your face. I know it's challenging. We're not going to quit. All right, team. Only 10 left. Ready? Set. I pick up the eight pounds for this workout intentionally for myself because I really was in the mood to work harder today. Even though we do more reps. Normally I would pick up a heavier weights on the strength training when we stick with 10 to 16 reps or eight to 16 reps. Knowingly, I wanted to challenge myself today a lot. All right, my friends. Come on, come on, come on. We push it up. All right, we have five to go. Push it. You ready? Last three. Let's do it. Three. Two. Last one, my friends. Come on up. We did it together. I can't believe we complete 30 of this. Come on up. Put your dumbbells together. On the side, you will need them one more time. Your next exercise is without the weights. And your next exercise, upward tabletop, single leg tricep today. Core, glutes, if you're gonna squeeze them in the right place in the right time in that Upward tabletop position, single leg is optional. You definitely guys can do it with the both feet on the floor. Come on down. Arms extremely tired, but we will do it anyway. All right, exercise number eight, guys. Body weight exercise, upward tabletop, single leg tricep. I want to make a special point. When you do your tricep with single leg, make sure your elbows pointed back, right? Not to the side. 
and make sure it's not your shoulders doing the tricep. This is your elbows. So the shoulders stay in the way from the ear. You point your elbows straight back. All right, get ready guys. On the position, we will alternate the legs. Watch your shoulders, team. Here we go, one. Two. This is a tricep push-up. Three. Four. Back to the table, squeeze the glutes. Five. Six. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. Seven. Back to the good quality tabletop. Eight. Uh -huh. We are first and through, guys. Congratulations. Make sure your wrist, elbow, shoulder, one on top of another. So you have a healthy wrist afterwards as well. We don't want to have a strong, sexy abs, firm glute muscles, and a weak wrist, right? Keep health of your wrist, wrist, elbow, shoulder, one on top of another. All right, you've got this. Reach. If you need to take a break on your wrist, please do. I keep going. All right, my friends, we have only last 10 left. We can do it. Let's go. One, two, watch your tricep, it's not your shoulders. Three, four, thrust back to the full quality tabletop. Four reps to go, team. Ready? Three, two, one more. That's it. That was absolutely brutal for him. So, so let's stretch that wrist. Clasp your both palms together and press one palm on top of another. Squeeze them really firm. Then take your fingers towards your face, bottom of your palm forward. And then opposite. Fingers towards your face again and the top outside towards the wall. Beautiful. Your final exercise with the dumbbells. We have two more exercise. Exercise number nine and 10. Your final guys dumbbell exercise is gonna be your glute bridge with a two type of the chest press. On the way up to the glute bridge, we're gonna do the neutral grip. Once we're there, we change neutral to the wide and then we get back with the neutral. So grab your dumbbells. Only 30 reps. Good for back, good for lower body, good for upper body, for chest, of course, and for arms and shoulders. Opt out of the heavier dumbbells. Do the lighter one if you have to. Commit for the excellence, for the excellent form. Commit for completing all the reps with me at one time. So we're gonna go up, complete it up here, and back with a neutral grip. We got this team. Squeeze your glutes really tight on top, because this is a part of the exercise. Scoop the belly in, don't be shy on your glute bridges. Bring those hips high. Press the heels into the floor. Ready guys, set, here we go. We don't need to hurry up. I want to see a beautiful form, guys. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze those glutes, team. Squeeze, right through the heels. When you do your chest press, neutral grip and wide grip, I need you to press up and release with the chest, guys. Of course, your arm's gonna be working, but you're really using your chest you feel in it. You work what you feel in you work in. Come on, guys. We got this. My bottom is getting on fire already. My arms on fire. Don't stop from the beginning of this workout. We got this. Push it. All right, guys. Last one, and we first tense through. Also make sure, I forgot to mention, as I always do, make sure when you do your bridge, there is no weight on your neck. We are in the second tense, guys. 
Use the chest to press. All right. Push it, no weight on your neck, all the way, distribute it in between your shoulder blades. On the way back, guys, do not slam those glutes on the ground. I want you to release it with control, of course. Even if I haven't mentioned it, you know, we're working against the gravity. We always push, pull, resist, guys. Push all the way, push back, resist. Arms on fire, glutes on fire. Almost through the second 10. Don't forget to give the good quality squeeze, guys, to those glutes. All right, my friends. 10 left. Breathe and finish strong. Five. Squeeze it up. Do not give up, guys. Almost three. Three left. Just in case, I actually think it's two, but just in case I'm wrong. Last one. Sometimes I get carry over, carry off, carry away, carry away with my reps and miss few. All right, guys, congratulations. That was a challenging one. You won't need your dumbbells today anymore. So I'm gonna rock mine. And your final exercise, guys, is gonna be your plank knee to the elbow. This is your abs. Feel free to put your knees on the floor. It's only 30 reps. It's gonna fly by really quickly. So come on down. Get ready. Once you need, go on your knees, guys, but give me a good quality knee to the elbow. Ready, team? Set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, one, two, three, it's going you through, guys, we have ten, nine, eight, seven, guys, six, five, four, all the way across, two, one, and done, excellent work, congratulations, your challenge, 300 challenge part is absolutely complete for now, so drink your water, stay hydrated, and we have, guys, six Pilates exercises for you. Most of them targeting the whole body, a couple of them really strong for the abs because we did a lot of upper body and lower body today. We can't forget of our abs. All right. And this exercise is right here. We're gonna do 16 repetition for each one. So we're ready for the corkscrew, all the way on the position. Here we go. One, two, three. I want to see those ankles all the way towards the floor and upper body steady. So you give a really good corkscrew to those abs and that slender, slim waistline. Eight guys, seven, six, five, or even stop for a tiny little half of the second on each side. Four, guys. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. Let's stretch our wrist again one more time. Just this time pull it, the fingertips all the way towards your face, and another one. And rotate, rotate. All right. We're gonna go for the single leg roll up to the upward plank, guys. Your upward plank is optional. Single leg upward plank is optional. It's just like your leg pull back. Take a look. You're gonna take your leg up. Once you're here, you lift. We're only gonna do 16. If you're not ready for the upward plank, totally fine. Come on down. All right, on the position. 
Ready, set, here we go. One. Watch your wrist underneath the shoulders. That's perfect. Beautiful. We almost halfway through first date. Mm -hmm. Lifting from the lower abs, guys. That's perfect. All right, it's getting hot in here. Beautiful. We have only eight to go, guys. Come on down. Do not stop, champions. We have only 60 complete. This is probably the more challenging one from all our six Pilates exercises today. That's it. The next one is definitely going to be relaxing. Can you guess what it is? This is your roll, like a ball is coming after we complete last two reps. Mm -hmm. Last one, my friends, come on. That's it. That was challenging. All right, I must say it was challenging. We're going for roll like a ball. We're gonna do 16, and then I'm gonna take you to your front position. We're all gonna do the ankles today like a beginner version because we did work out so hard. I don't want you to lose the form and swing your legs. So let's grab the ankles, point your elbows slightly outside, scoop the belly in. Do not roll, please, guys, on your neck. If you feel it, just do a little bit less range of motion. Stop, slow down, and rearrange your position. No rolling on your neck. Get ready, here we go. Tap the toes or hold the balance. Good job. Feels so good on the back. Mm -hmm. Excellent, guys. Continue to roll. We have, we have a couple more and we threw first eight count. I keep rolling to the front. All right, we have one more. Set of eight, scoop the belly. Don't roll on your neck. One, two. Each and every vertebrae can feel it. It feels so amazing to me. All right, guys, I'll go outside. We have four to go. Four, three. Keep that curved C position. Oh, one more. Excellent work, everybody. I'm gonna take you to your front position. We have three more exercises left. So drink your water if you have to. Your next exercise is a prone reverse boat. We're only gonna do 16. So it's the arms and legs lifted simultaneously. If that is too much for you, if you have any back injuries, shoulders injuries, do legs separate, then arms separate, and you're gonna do 16 with us. So it's gonna be eight and eight for each arms and legs separate. Other than that, we're all gonna do it together. No slappy arms, no slappy legs. Arms and legs super extended, beautifully pointed toes, beautifully pointed fingertips. Movement from powerhouse, from very center of your body. We have only 16, here we go. One, two, that's your body, point your toes, three. Four, five, six. We halfway through, guys. Right now, right here. Finish strong. Eight, point your toes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's stretch the back. All the way, fingertips in. Feels good. We have swimmer, guys. We have only 16. It's almost the same what we did right now, but we're gonna use one side at a time. That's gonna target more the sideline as well. 
including our obliques. All right, guys, set one arm and one leg on the position, the opposite, so you don't mess it up at the beginning. It's, at the beginning, it's confusing a little bit. And ready, set, here we go. We're not gonna go fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, guys. Eight, seven, almost there. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. Put your forehead on the ground or on your hands. And we have our final exercise today, guys. We're gonna go for the rocking on the stomach. We're not gonna be doing 16. We're gonna do it twice, eight rocking movements each and every time. Or you can split them for four sets, four rocking on the stomach each and every time. I'm gonna go for eight, try to stick with me, but if you need to take a break in between and then do the extra one, you can do it. So go ahead and grab your ankles. It's really important since it's advanced exercise that you make sure you don't go too far so your back starts to hurt. If you're just here and doing a tiny little rocking, that's also good. Something better than nothing, you will get stronger quickly or you come for a little bit higher position of that bound. Ankles to the hands, all right. Get ready, guys. Press your ankles three times before each and every set of eight. We stretch in one, two, three. Lift, we're rocking for eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. All the way, full extension, guys. Put your forehead on the ground. Take a good quality, few extra breaths. We're gonna do that little prep. Pop, um, press the ankles for three times to stretch the upper arms and the legs. And then we're gonna reach up for eight, rocking on the stomach. Break it into the four or even a two. All right, let's stretch the ankles. Pump them up. One, two, three. Ready? I'm ready. We all ready, got. Here we go. Beautiful one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, all the way back. Take your forehead on the floor. Take a little break. I'm so proud of you guys. Your workout of the day almost complete after we do a quick, gentle straight in. All the way, guys. Come on down on your knees. Wrist, elbow, shoulders. Did I tell you how proud I am? of you guys, yeah, I'm so proud. This was a challenging, challenging workout. Drop the head, relax the neck, and do it one more time, all the way up, and all the way back down. We're going to take our one arm all the way. Back is on fire after this Pilates session. Take it all the way underneath. Support yourself, guys. Good for your back, good for your shoulders and arms. 14. Three, two, and let's do the other side all the way. I'm gonna turn around so I can see you better and all the way underneath. That's it. It doesn't have to be unsupported, so support yourself with, this, with the other hand. And it's a gentle twist for the back. Come on back. All right, we did some squats, some good amount of squats. Let's reach that leg up and step forward for your lower lunge. We're gonna come up and set the front knee, guys, above the front ankle, reach all the way up. Inhalation, exhalation, take your chest up towards the ceiling. Literally rotate a little bit deeper. Back, flex, hip flexor. Let's go ahead and take that knee to extension. Set your hip above your knee on the other side. Square your hips, fold forward a little bit deeper. It doesn't have to be 
really, really deep, but try to maintain your long extended back. And we go back, we're gonna go for a lunge from the other side. Step forward. If you can take your hands off the ground, this is totally normal. Keep them on the floor for support. Front knee, front ankle, good alignment. Reach. Let your upper body melt, guys, through your lower body. Take your hand on the side, reach up. Four, guys. Three, just up over the ceiling. Take it all the way back. And switch the direction. Front knee, so thin extended. Hip knee up here, square. And fold forward. We're folding forward with a long extended back, guys. Mm -hmm. And four. And three. And two. Take this leg back. Come on up with me, guys. Walk, 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 walk. We're gonna do the wide side squats today. So step a little bit wider, even where you normally would do the plie. Try to hold that other foot on the floor. Take your hands on the ground. Four, guys. Three, two, and all the way to the other side. Try to hold this foot on the floor. Weight away from this knee. Come on back up. Successfully complete, guys. Let's reach all the way up. Inhalation, exhalation. I am so proud of you, team. So proud of you, each and every one of you. I'm sure did amazingly good. Great commitment, great achievement. Recover well, rest well. I will see you all tomorrow.